Hello, this is Shesha Chalam from Ashwagat Mysore. Today let us understand Kahala Yoga. Kahala Yoga is also regarded as one of the good yogas in which a person will get status, will get social acceptance, will get recognition, will get a good job, will get good houses, will get vehicles. So this is a yoga of balance of both professional levels and also a person who is achieving materialistic and luxuries from he, because of his work. So you can understand now I am talking about two things. One is Sukha, Vahana, Luxury. The other one is Profession. You know, so Sukha, Vahana, Luxury is the fourth house. Profession is the tenth house. So the amalgamation of these two is known as Kahala Yoga. So let me give you the definition here. So there are two forms of Kahala Yoga. And uh, it is considered as not as good as a Raja Yoga. Raja Yoga is a yoga which gives kingly comforts. You know, people think, you know, people keep asking me, let me go into this point for a second. <clears throat> Sir, I have a Raja Yoga, I have not felt it. Then I ask him, do you walk 15 kilometers to, you know, fetch water? Do you, you know, have to do the hard work to get your earning? No, sir, uh, I, we are a little well off. That is Raja Yoga. To have the comfort, to sleep with comfort, that is Raja Yoga. Because earlier days, anyway, the Maharajas would not be sleeping with comfort. They would always be worried who will stab them in their sleep. So that Raja Yoga nobody wants, right? But they want to be a Raja only for the positive benefits of the Raja Yoga, not the negatives. So please understand when there is a Raja Yoga, you also have the threat of losing everything. So let us now understand Kahala Yoga. Kahala Yoga is a second rank Raja Yoga, but still it gives fantastic benefits. The first form of Kahala Yoga as per the Brihat Parashara Hora Shastra is that fourth Lord and Jupiter are in mutual angles. That is in mutual quadrants or Kendras from each other and ascendant lord is strong so there are three factors the fourth factor is the kendra factor so fourth lord jupiter ascendant lord and quadrant so these four points have to be considered so quadrant has to be seen from where people are still confused when i tell Fourth Lord and Jupiter have to be in quadrants. That means take the fourth Lord's degree as the starting point from where you have to consider 0 degree, 90 degree, 180 degree and 270 degree point. Mark that point. Those are the midpoints of your Kendra from the fourth Lord's perspective. Here the Kahala Yoga does not, the first forum does not form from the ascendant it forms from the fourth lord so from the fourth lord if jupiter is in the zero degree 90 degree 180 degree or 270 degree as good as telling that it if it is in the kendra and with mutual angles that's what is told and if the lagna lord is strong See, Lagna Lord is strong is to show the balance of this particular triangle. The triangle here is formed from the ascendant. Let us take the ascendant, the fourth house that is Sukha, that is enjoyment of this worldly creations, Vahana, vehicular enjoyment, the enjoyment through vehicles, luxury vehicles, then Gruha, that is enjoyment through residential property. M Matru Bhumi, enjoyment of motherland, Matru, enjoyment through mother, the love, all this is the fourth house. Then the tenth house, your prarabdha, your karma, your actions, your deeds, what you would want to do in life, what you would focus to make your earning from. So this triangle, the first, the fourth, the tenth, is a beautiful triangle which forms the Kahala Yoga. The first Lord has to be strong. That is the Ascendant Lord has to be strong. And uh, this strength you can see simply from the Shadbala for the basic level. We will not go into the cancellations as on date. So if this is strong, then Kahala Yoga forms. That is the Ascendant Lord is strong. 
the fourth lord and the jupiter it's not the tenth lord here the fourth lord and jupiter are very strongly placed in kendras from the fourth lord mutual kendras is from the fourth lord you can take it from jupiter also both are uh, vice versa the same we'll go to the second form the fourth lord is in its own sign or the sign of exaltation see now the fourth lord has gained strength here earlier it was fourth lord you know mutual placement from jupiter but here in this second form it is fourth lord gaining a higher level of strength you know deep tamsha exaltation or in its own house swasthana so if it is in the shantha pramuditha muditha deepta i have not done all this my mistake i have to do a lot of videos to cover the basics but i'll do all these avastas in the coming days so if the fourth lord is well posited and is in conjunction with the 10th lord here the jupiter's factor the ascendant factor is not there so the strength primarily should be strong with the fourth lord itself and then if it is conjunct with the 10th lord see the fun here now in the triangle earlier we took the lagna lord the fourth lord its strength and the aspect of jupiter or mutual placement of jupiter from the fourth house the 10th was left out here we are taking the fourth and the 10th okay we are not going to go to the third level the 10th and the lagna which is called amala yoga we we have already done that so we are now doing fourth and the 10th so this is the balance between sukha and shrama shrama means the amount of work what you put you know you you sweat for gaining sukha so how much you till and how much you reap is what is seen in this particular uh, yoga and in the second form also kahala yoga is formed that is if the fourth lord is it is own sign sign of exaltation and is in conjunction with the 10th lord of the rashi kundali then kahala yoga is formed and in this yoga there is lot of richness he can become a chieftain he can have lot of uh, land he will be very well protected by the people he is as good as he gets into a very high level of being a judge a magistrate a, you know tahsildar police officers police chiefs so this is a fantastic yoga there is a little bit of disturbance because of uh, some construction work happening so i was also delaying these video processes because the too much of construction work happening next door but anyway if that sound is having some interruption please excuse me we are also going to have a mic very soon yeah we will be having an audio mic very soon though my voice is very loud but still people have uh, given me a lot of suggestions telling that your voice is getting interrupted because of other noises so i will have a audio mic very soon so that we will have very within good clarity in my, within a week or so so kahala yoga is an extremely good yoga there is also a third form in the kahala yoga as per bengaluru venkatraman b v raman our guru i have studied from his institute a great personality regarded as the modern father of astrology of modern astrology father of modern astrology sorry not modern father a father of modern astrology he is fantastic in his books all his books are so good that you keep reading them and you keep understanding the subject better and better every day so here the fourth lord and the ninth house should be in kendra from each other that is the fourth lord and the ninth house should be in kendra that means from the ninth the fourth lord should be in a kendra or from the fourth lord the ninth the ninth house should be in a kendra so what is the kendra from the ninth 9 10 11 12 the 12th house again the kendra from the ninth is the third house the kendra from the ninth is the sixth house so 6 7 8 9 so you count it from 6 or from 9 it will be 10 4 combination 
or 410 combination, 7 1 combination, or you will have 410 combination once again. So, if that is there from each other, and if the Kendra, you know, and the Lagna Lord is strong, then Kahala Yoga is once again formed. So, here the Bhagyasthana has been taken into account. Bhagyasthana is the house of fortune, that is the ninth house. So, if the fourth lord is in the Kendra from the ninth house, then Bhagyasthana will also work forward, you know, in mutual influence or positive influence to the fourth lord. The other point also has to be noted. Here, there are two points within the third form. The fourth lord and the ninth lord are in Kendras from each other now. The lords of the fourth and the ninth are in Kendra from each other. And when they are in Kendra from each other and the Lagna lord is strong, once again Kahala Yoga is formed. So, there are four forms of Kahala Yoga. First two forms are elucidated by Bhrat Parashara Hora Shastra. The alternative form which is the uh, form which has been given up given to us by bb raman is with regard to the fourth lord and the ninth house fourth lord and the ninth lord okay ninth lord can be sitting anywhere right so if it is in kendra with the fourth lord you will get kahala yoga if the lagnadipati is strong and if fourth lord is in kendra from the ninth house and if the lagnadipati is strong also then you get kahala yoga which is a little confusing for people, but you can keep it in, in your uh, you know, knowledge that this also gives luxurious benefits in our life. Why? Sukhasthana Adipati sitting in the 4th from the ninth in the 12th house where actually you experience Sukha. It has. So, these are, these are different variations of Kahala Yoga and hope uh, this yoga has... Uh, you know, been clearly explained by me. Thank you very much for the discussion. And just to add that it is the second grade of Raja Yoga. Correct. Yes. So do not expect too yeah, many. Yeah, do not expect too many things from this yoga because this yoga with the slight cancellation also might suddenly become very weak. Because any malefic influence of the fourth lord or the ninth lord or the tenth lord or the ascendant hmm. can, uh, you know, decrease the yoga by 50% or so. So thank you very much for today's class.